wet, it's gloomy, it's England, you know, this is our meant to be our summer or the start of our summer and yet we've had one nice day but anyway forget about that so I'm here in Preston station about to hop on train to Liverpool we're meant to be playing golf in this weather but I'm not quite sure that's gonna happen because it is raining it's meant to rain all day but we'll make do if we have to play in the rain we have to play in the rain I'll just make it as an excuse why I'm playing so bad also I've got my filter coffee to get me through it normally I have this black but for some reason Starbucks is one of the only filter coffees I can't stand black it just it tastes burnt all the time so got a little bit of milk in this might even put some sweetener in let's go to Liverpool wait three so that's the second change of the day, done and dusted at Liverpool Station now and then off to Rainhill to meet Liam. Hopefully he's going to pick me up, if not, nah, I think he will. Can I just say Liverpool has one of the nicest stations around, it's just, it's so busy in the main area and so quiet on the platforms, it's beautiful. I have a clue where I'm going. People think it's the next stop and the next stop, but it's not. I think it's the stop after this. Damn. There he is, sports fans. Is the lad? Made it here to the golf course. Liam's just gone and ran and, and sorted everything out. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, because it's very foggy and it looks well, there's a few people here. And I honestly don't know what I'm doing at all when it comes to golf and hitting the ball. So we will see. But all professional, got the golf shoes on. Got my own set of clubs and I've also got a buggy to go around in so should be fun, let's see what happens. Prepare to laugh at some of my shots. So we finished the game of golf, uh, it's safe to say that I can't play at all. Um, how many, what did I get? 139? Yeah, not bad. 139 shots around the course, but that's not including the drives that didn't make it off the little driving square, which I probably did about four or five holes where I hit it about six times and it just wouldn't move. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, I've started to really enjoy golf, I think I might take it up as a hobby to try and get a little bit better maybe just the driving range first not actually an 18 hole golf course because that took it out my hands hurt my shoulders hurt i'm knackered but yeah so we came back went back to liam's went and played fortnite because i've got him into fortnite uh even though i only started it last night and we're gonna play a little bit more tonight we were meant to go out but plans changed and now convinced him to go and watch Black Panther for the first time, my second time, his first time at the cinema. So he's going to go and realise and look at how amazing the film is. Let's hope so. And we'll see what his thoughts are after we finish watching it. about half past nine the next day so the day after golf about to embark on a four hour journey so it's half past nine now I won't get back into Blackpool for about quarter past one and I've got to cycle home for about half past one reason being is I've got to get a train from Rainhill to Hoyton Heighton I 
think, about six minutes. Then off there, 10 minute change, 44 minute bus journey to Liverpool Lime Street, wait about half an hour for my train, get a train to Preston, and then from Preston a bus to Blackpool, and then we'll be home. So let's get there. Okay, so that's the first leg of the journey done, and now Liverpool Lime Street and then Preston. Here we go. So I just came from Hoyton, Hayton, Hoyton, I don't know, um, to Liverpool Lime Street, and then all the buses, all the trains are closed, so I've now got to go back to, to Hoyton. To then, so it's another 44 minutes back to where I've just come from to then get a bus to wherever from there. But I've got to go back, I don't want to go back. Blackpool. Wow, what a long day, what an absolute hassle of a travel day. Um, I'm gonna get my bike, I'm gonna cycle home, and then just relax, have a coffee, have some food, because I'm knackered. So I get to my bike. Reporter stolen, please ring police. Number crime. And there's another lock on it. So I've not only travelled four hours to get back to Blackpool from Liverpool, I now cannot cycle home because my bike is reported stolen. Great, absolute great. So update to make my day all that much more better. The police don't know anything about it. So I've got a lock on my bike that I can't get off. The police don't know uh, what it's for, even though the note says to ring the police. They're gonna ring me back in about 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. They said they're gonna try and find out more information, but they don't know anything about it or what to do. So when they ring me back, we'll go from there. But right now, I'm, uh, I'm struggling. You know, I'll start off to come back to Blackpool at half past nine. It's now half past two. I'm still not home, I've not really eaten or drank anything, I need the toilet, I'm just, what a nightmare of a day. hours and they're still not here so I'm gonna have to I put my bag in the car I'm gonna give it until four o'clock so another 10 15 minutes and then I'm gonna call it a day and I'm just gonna ring them and let them know that I've gone home for food and warmth and coffee and we're gonna have to sort it out from there because right now I'm absolutely freezing you know, I've been stood in the same place for two and a half hours no one's turned up. Police don't know what time they're going to come. There's no, they've not given me a time. It's not getting better, is it? It's really not getting better. So let's put this in the car, head back out there and wait and wait and wait. Okay, an update. So the update is it's now almost eight o'clock. Not done anything but wait. So we heard nothing back and then came home. Uh, that was about four o'clock. Then I got a call at five saying to go and prove the ID of the bike, we went there, and for some reason Halfords, you have written down the wrong frame serial number. So we got there, I gave him all the paperwork, he checked the bike and it was wrong. So he sent us away, he said he's gonna get in contact with the other person that's locked their lock around my bike because they're the ones that are claiming that it's stolen. They're gonna ring them, see if they can produce the correct documents and if not, they're gonna give it to me because at the end of the day it is my bike and Halfords have just messed up. I'm gonna to have to go to Halfords tomorrow when they open at nine o'clock and get a printed out receipt copy of what, of my receipt from that day 
and then show it to the police so I can get my bike back. So I won't be getting my bike back until about 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning after a full day of waiting. Um, I'm still waiting for the police to ring me back. They said they're going to ring me back before 7 o'clock. It's now 8 o'clock. They haven't. It's just... It's just a lot, you know? It's just all... It's just hectic. It really is. Um, but on the plus side, it's beautiful outside. It's crisp. It's nice. It's... It's fresh. You can't let things get to you. I've had a long, long day. I'm going to go to the gym now. Relieve it all. All that stress. And just forget about it. And just wait until tomorrow.